All right. Let's slip into our roles in this little drug deal charade. Those junkies won't know what hit them until it's too late. <laughs> that panic room they got in there is gonna be full of cash. And we're gonna take it all. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? It's Ballistic Devil here with a Payday the Heist Let's Play video. Or I guess you could be, it's a walkthrough since I actually finished something. So I just decided I'd do some non live commentary since my YouTube has been kinda inactive for about four months. So I just decided I'm bored, so I'm gonna go ahead and record my just record my voice over this game because I wanted to try something new so I'm trying not to intervene with the gameplay too much but I'm gonna just talk about my channel and stuff I do know that it's completely non-written so I'm gonna be talking out of my butt a lot to gently put it so anyways I just have been I just I haven't gave up on YouTube so I may as well start with that eh I haven't given up on YouTube. I just have I just haven't I just haven't really enjoyed how my uh, YouTube is going along right now. I mean, I don't I don't like not doing what I'm doing. Just it just seems like it's extremely tedious. And I don't even I don't even finish gameplay or anything. So I guess I guess you guys can hold that against me or whatever. But hey, um. So, I'm just, so I just wanted to say that I am going to I'm going to probably not be recording any videos for a while for a little longer. I'm just trying to decide what to do with my YouTube videos. It just doesn't seem like let's plays are really doing it. I feel like I'm sort of being a sellout, you know, like doing the YouTube I'm doing now. It's just kind of hard to explain. I just want, I kind of want to, I just been watching a lot of videos like Al Chess Breach and Rabaz and Krikens. And I've recently just sort of been deciding, hmm, well, what could I, what, could I do something similar like that? And I just don't know. I, it seems like it would take a little too much responsibility for my, I don't know. Oh, there I go, just killing someone randomly because he was hiding from me for too long. And I don't know. I would just would like. I would just more would like to ask what you guys would like. Would you still like me to do let's plays, but like in a certain kind of schedule? And I mean, not like one video a week, because that just wouldn't roll for me. I'm sorry to say. But I don't know. I I'm kind of at a, I'm kind of at a tough. Uh, well, blah, 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 blah. like a rock in a hard place. Just sort of weird Look at all how that I see it's even more to do than things. I um, but yeah, I just want to, I just sort of been saying that I've been thinking about my we YouTube and everything. So I, I just don't know. I know I haven't finished any of my series. This is probably going to be the first video that actually has a somewhat of an end. And yeah. But enough about that, since I obviously do not know what I'm talking about very clearly. So, I'm just... I don't know. It just seemed... I just felt like sort of talking to you guys. Just... Sort of... Just enjoying... Just enjoying my own video. And, yeah. Is that, is that conceited that I just like watching myself? I don't know. I mean, I don't think I'm like the best player ever. But I seem like I always tend to hang in there a little longer. Nothing against a lot of YouTubers or anything, but I just, I don't know. I see a lot. I see a lot of famous YouTubers, and they're not very good at games. Or I don't know. That's just, it's just a weird assumption. And yeah, it's just crazy. I'm trying not to bore you to tears here, because this is the first time I'm not talking out of my butt on on my video on my videos. So it's just kind of hard to actually think about what to say. But I guess I'll just try to talk about this game for a little while until I get my bearings. Um, this is of course Payday the Heist on Panic Room, normal difficulty. I am, as you saw in the 
first few like seconds of the video. I was rocking a pit the silence pistol, the silence SMG, and the voila, the fancy smancy sharpshooter gun of life called the M308. I believe so. Um, not a, I'm not, I'm not too much of a rookie at this game. I've, I've actually gotten pretty fun. Um, just by playing solo missions and just doing all that good stuff. Uh, like, as you can s probably see in the bottom left corner, I am level 49 and I'll more than likely be level 50 by the end of this video. Of course, I'm going to be level 50 since I was... I mean, who forgets about what in their videos? <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, so in this in this film, if you are not familiar with Payday Heists, you're basically these fancy smancy superhuman ro uh, robbers just trying to make a living, being set for life, getting paid. Like you can rob banks, you can steal diamonds, you can you can and as you can see, you can invade a gang member's house. And they just, with so much, happen to have a whole bunch of cash. So, yeah. And what you, these saws are for is to loosen the money room that is upstairs. Like, I'll, you'll probably see it in a moment here. I'm just gonna... Because you gotta reset these saws every so often. And... Yeah, so it just takes... Just, blah. Man, this is not what I'm used to. I'm sorry, guys. Forgive me. And before you get all hissy fitty, the reason why I'm not shooting the cops right away is because I'm trying to get hostages out of them. I'm one of those people who like to have as many hostages as I can. And that would include using cops. Because I don't like using civilian hostages. But I, I end up tying one up a little later, but they get freed like almost instantly, which is stupid. Um. So yeah, basically you raid the gang member's house, you just try to steal the cash upstairs, because apparently it's a lot of money. I don't exactly understand why it's such a lot of money, but either way, it's cool. I'd much rather rob a bank instead of, well, I guess it really depends. If I were to have to rob something, I would probably end up doing the gang member's one. As long as the cops wouldn't deal with it too much. Like, sure, if there was like a patrol or something, maybe. But then again, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a pure criminal. This is the guy I finally managed to arrest. Watch this crap. Oh wait, no, never mind. Well, I guess I, I did record this a day a, a day before. Oh, this one is the one I arrest. Yeah, too late. See, I just do a little nod there. No, I don't do that every time. It just felt like adding some immersion to that video. But yeah, so you, I, so the saws have done loosening the panic room. So now you have to go onto the roof and the snipers, as you can see here. Of course, I have a little bit of trouble with them, but I'm just, oh, I still hang in there. That's the way it almost gets in my crosshairs. Can't stand civilians. You know, in this game. I, I sometimes question a lot of this game's logic. Like, if you're in, a, in the bank mission, the weird thing is, is when you end up, like, telling the civilians to get, get down, you do the much better job than the cops. Like, the cops will just start shooting. Like, and then the civilians will be like, oh, cops are shooting, so therefore let's stand up for no reason at all. Which I just find ridiculous, but hey. But yeah, so yeah, so I'm right now. I'm just clearing the snipers, so I can so my helicopter buddy that will like transport the safe um, to safety. Well, irony. You, this is blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Pro, this is probably a bad idea to record this. Let it try something new. So if you're not patient with me, I don't end up stopping now. I'll pro. I'll, I don't know. I might not just talk for the whole video. This is like, what, like about 24 minutes long, maybe? But yeah, maybe I'll stop talking a little later. I'm just sort of 
I'm just bored. Count of time. So yeah, now I so the helicopter dropped a best some a bag of C4 explosives that were supposed to blow up, blow the building up completely. Well, not completely, but just, just magically to the panic room. I guess it's called in this case. Panic room. I don't know why we went panic room without so much money, but hey, I don't know things. So this is kind of a tedious part of the mission. You end up just, you just, you just end up just sacrificing a, a whole bunch of health and stuff just to try to get the C4 gun. I'm playing on single player, so my bots are not are definitely not going to protect me all that good. They still do a decently, have a decently good job. And I could have sworn I saw a cloaker there. I think I did, but I, I think it moves a little too quickly. Even to see too late for you. Cops must have some serious parkour to climb up the building as much as they can. Yeah, so this is the tedious task of trying to place explosives down. And get the money! Um, I'm, not, I'm definitely not an expert at this game. Of course, as I said, I'm still decently new. I get, I don't know. It just, it gets really hard. I've heard from like once beyond normal, and I still get, I still can get downed, especially by people like that. That bulldozer, those shotguns will take out your little like shields. I think it's body armor, but it's pretty much a shield, and it regenerates over time. Like that white outline you see around it, it's sort of like a shield. So I guess you could compare this more to Halo than to Call of Duty. But that's just me to judge. I'm not a fan of either of the games too much. Like an armor person. This game's fun. I, I always love criminal like games. It just feels good. And I know, I know, I'm definitely not doing smart things. Like I'm I'm supposed to be just shooting instead of running up and trying to melee them in the face. What the heck? What's the fun of that? And as I said, I'm stitching to get these stupid hostages. But of course, the one that I originally arrested. Got freed and he probably ended up getting shot and died. I don't know if I were to get if I were forced to handcuff my own self with the handcuffs, it just doesn't seem. I don't think I'd want to go and be like, all right, let me at him, let me at him. Be like, all right, I'm gonna go eat some donuts that are left over in the police car. But that's just me. I'm a lazy, lazy buns. Uh, the masks I'm using and the bots are using is beef, beef, it's B E E E F. Uh, I'm guessing that's something like between like con the countries or something. Like for instance, Wolf, which is my character, has a, like a Russian Spetsnaz mask. Like in Dallas, of course, has an American mask. Hawkinson has like a Two Face mask, which still has like an American symbol on the left side of the mask, I think. And then there's Chains, who's like a dinosaur? A reptile? I don't know. I don't think there's any stereotypes of people being lizards. It's a little funky in me. I don't know. But yeah, I, I kind of assume it's between the countries. Well, look, just look at all these masks. Dallas has a freaking American mask. You think, like, the probably something else in there. Then... Wolf has a pet mask. You can't really see it all that well since my character is kind of long. Uh, now, but anyways, I just, I just sort of felt like re just recording myself, just trying to tell you guys I'm still alive. I didn't really know any other better way. I didn't want to do live commentary since that probably would have like made my skills deteriorate a little bit. But I just, I just see so many YouTubers who aren't, are, who just don't seem very wise around their surroundings and everything. It just drives me crazy. Uh, I know a lot of people who don't do live commentaries do a lot of editing with their voices, but I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave it here. So I apologize if I annoy the poopy out of you guys. But hey, there's people out there who are just like, all right, he's talking and not doing horrible at the same time. I'm definitely not. I'm not saying I'm the best. That's long from 
fun. I feel I just like watching myself. I feel like I learn a lot of mistakes from a lot of YouTube famous YouTubers. And it just it just comes out quite nicely. Ooh, ooh, money. Look at that money. Yeah. Greed is good, my children. Don't ever tell your parents they said that. Greed is good. It makes you level up in life. I mean, just look at my health if I'm really leveled up. Uh, yes. Alright, so... I think I'll just go ahead and cut the recording off here. Um, so I'll just say... If you guys... If you, for those people who are still interested in my YouTube, I'd like to hear what you guys think I should do with my YouTube. I definitely would like to try to do something aside from Let's Plays. Just because I, it just doesn't feel good. I don't feel very rewarded when I make Let's Plays or walkthroughs or anything. So if you guys want me to record funny money moments and stuff, I can try, but I don't exactly do various things. It's kind of weird. I'm not, I'm definitely just one of those people who just try to play the game and do it correctly the first time. But yeah, if you guys please could do, do that for me, I'd love it. Um, I'll try to record another video or two maybe in the near future, but I can't really promise any exact date, but I wanted to not, I don't want my YouTube to be like, oh hi, I'm back. And yeah. Alright everyone, well, enjoy the rest of this video, and I guess I'll see you commenters and viewers in the near future. Alright, farewell everyone.
This way! Run it tight, guys!